don't you just love when you're talking and your computer goes, my default microphone is no longer the microphone that's plugged into me. No, 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 no. My default microphone is a VR headset that isn't even turned on or plugged in at the moment. Fuck yeah, that, that's the right microphone to be using right now. So yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, it's Luna, aka your local cobble. We're going to be playing uh, some more Cyber Sleuth, uh, Digital Story Cyber Sleuth, with the Digital the Destined version mod. We have a challenge run of that. Uh, using the same rules we've been doing beforehand, as been visible in the previous uh, like, uh, like uh, episodes of this. And also, as always, if you're watching this on Twitch, vote on the evolutions of such. Hello, Onyx Severus, and hello, Teethnet Gaming. Hoi hoi, how are you? Also, thank you for letting me know I was muted. If I had a penny for every time that's happened, I would have like 12, which isn't a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is with like Windows, but every time it updates, it decides for its default uh, audio input for the uh, device is not the one that you had selected beforehand, and it'll pick whichever one has like the uh, lowest uh, like position alphabetically. Looks of it. I'm doing pretty good. Like I got over that like horrible cough I had over the weekend. I don't know where that came from. I mean, I've been ill for like a while now, but like I don't know what it is. I got like some kind of flu that just won't fuck off. It just hit me super hard over the weekend. Like, I was just coughing up a shit. I was like, fuck, I got COVID again. I think it went away after two days. I was like, yeah, it's probably not COVID. I don't know what that was. But. Yeah. Uh, what were we doing last time? Because, like, it's been a pop minute. I don't actually remember. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got these. Oh yeah, we got these uh, quests. Uh, a game of bug on imperil jobs pretty good. It's those a life crisis. Life crisis is the one I enjoy that one. Urgent case for Mirai to hunt down a rogue hacker. Uh, I want to go back to standard outfit. Yeah, we have no things we need to be doing, so we're just gonna do some quests and stuff. Let's go save this Hakuramon. I just need to remember where the Hagoramon is. I think he's in the wall over here. Yeah. No idea how I remember these things, but yeah. Hello! You're the one who took the case. To tell the truth. Right now. I'm not feeling too good. I'm probably just about to die, so I deserve... Oh no. One of the cogs that makes up my body. I lost it somewhere. It should be somewhere in this dungeon. Please bring it to me as soon as possible. Yeah, let's go save this little dude. We've got a maze to go. Uh, I need to go to the left area first. So, like, all of these teleporters link up directly to the ones just above them. And I want to go to the left one to get that item. Yeah, there we go. Got the item. I don't think there's any more items that we need to worry about in this area. Those things are going to be a danger. I remember these things. Yeah, base game, these guys are already pretty dangerous at our level. Uh, digital and this digital is Cobble, Digital Hex invites you. Triple Digital Cobble, Digital Hex invites you. <laughs> Hello, Buckhead. Congratulations on officially being first, and thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> the fuck, this music great. Okay, so we have a type disadvantage against these guys. I love this music. It's so good. I don't know which Digimon game this comes from, but it's so good. Okay, so if you could... Uh, oh jeez, nothing I do is going to be good against these guys. Let's just do flat damage. You're going to be dying first because you're poison. You're also buffed, so let's knock you down a bit. And I also want to heal Optimon. E. Hailstorm. Oh shit. 
Yeah, Octobal's getting squished. Uh, I think it's more important to remove this than it is to heal up Octomon. Fuck. I should have just healed up Octomon. Uh, yeah, let's just do a sludge. Try and get a poison off on the other one. That was a failure. Do I have an old bone attack? I do not. Let's see if we can get a panic. Nope, no panic. Okay, we can buff, that's fine. We're just buffing. I got lucky. It's like, oh, I only have one turn left before I die of poison. What do I do? I know, I'll buff myself. That's a cool trick. <laughs> get this dude out of here. But yeah, if those guys are there, we're gonna struggle here a little bit. <laughs> I don't remember where this goes. I think this might actually be the right way to be going. Yeah, but I think you take this way round. I vaguely remember the right direction. That's a Dex Dorugamon. I didn't know he was in this game. That's fucking cool. <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> like, hold up. So I modded back to you in. So I knew he was in the game. He shouldn't be showing up in the encounter menu, which but actually the ultimate Digimon pack, I think because I've updated it to like a private version, it's only accessible via board. I think he got added in the ultimate Digimon pack, which adds them into like the encounter pools and stuff. So that's an option. That's fucking cool. <laughs> Also, I don't know, just like an encounter with like a Greymon, a Dorugamon, and a Dex Dorugamon is really cool. Like, this little boy is my uh, one of my favourites, and like, the evil version of him is pretty cool as well. Oof! Uh, oof! The panic chance of lightning pour is actually really low. Either that or these guys are really resistant against it. One of the two. That's Octomon God. Ah. Uh... Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll res them. How many? Oh, no, no, we're not. I'm not wasting a full revival spray on an Octomon. <laughs> Never mind. The bubble blow should be super effective, but idle bubble will make you no longer attack me for a little while, so... And then we'll go for a lightning core on Dorogamon, which should finish them off. Also, they seem to have the uh, uh, special ability of active on them, so... Uh, Dexter Rugam Online has a special ability which added by the what that I added onto this, not the one in UG. It's overwriting its stats and the animations and whatnot. So uh, basically, it's every time it uh, deals damage or like moves uh, to attack, it takes damage if its attack gets uh, knocked up a stage. So it's just constantly getting better attack stat, which is terrifying. <laughs> every turn I leave this thing alive, it gets stronger. And also that'll affect everyone in the party as well, because uh, special abilities on the Digimon that act as like passive and stuff, they affect the entire party. So like, if one of them has like, oh yeah, my water moves are stronger, everyone's water moves are stronger, which I think is really cool. I do really like the mechanics for the combat in this game. Like there's a couple bits where it's just like, yeah, this could have maybe done a little bit better. But like for the most part, it's pretty good. Oh, panic and sleep. Can I get a poison off as well? Ah, you already woke up. That would have been hilarious. Just, like, get panic, sleep, and uh, poison on the same time. Wait, maybe? It's a really low chance to poison. But there's a chance. 
Come on. One in ten. Yes! <laughs> I just keep a care and I didn't kill him. I'm just happy I was able to get three status conditions on him at once. <laughs> yeah, once Gatamon starts getting to higher levels and evolves Bella, we should be able to get a uh, ab ability on them called... I think it's either Revive or Resurrect or something like that, but basically it does what it says on the tip. If a Digimon's being knocked out, you can target them to heal them with it, but only if they're on the field. So once they've gone back into the party, which won't be relevant to us because we don't have like other party members, but like normally what happens is uh, if you if your entire party gets wiped out in combat, they get replaced with ones that you have in your reserve slots, which are like uh, those ones on the right over like here. And uh, yeah, once they've gone to bed, you can't use uh, skills to revive them. You have to use items. You can't get them back on the field. So you can't target them. Get their health back up a little bit. Oh yeah, we're going this way. Yep, I want to grab that item. Defense attached to the really better uh, like things to attach for I haven't really checked. Uh, nothing really better to that. Although can you it might be useful. But not just yet. I have a better S those. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll just leave what we got on there at the moment. Although, did we learn any skills? I haven't been paying attention. Nope. We're also getting pretty close to the point where we can evolve our Digimon again. I think we need to get to like level 30? I think it was 30. But this looks correct. I think we're in the right place now. Oh, no we are not. Go back. <laughs> Wait, shit, go back. Must have been this one then. It's like somewhere around this like weak like spaceship shape one. Here we are. This is where we're looking to get to. We now need to just go around the spiral. It's on the end of the spiral. Also, there's going to be an addit in 10 seconds, so like, if you want to go get yourself a snack or a drink, now's the time. Uh, at the same time, now nah, I'm going to snooze it because I want to read up what this guy is saying. I wouldn't want people to like, miss this. <laughs> ah, you f f f f f f f found it. Quick, insert it into the hole in my b b b b b b bat. So, I'm still alive? Great, just in a nick of time. I would have uh, been done before if it were if you hadn't helped me. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> e. Great work. What do you say I put you a cup of, cup of coffee for your trouble? <laughs> okay, a game, a bug, and an imperiled job. Also, I've already used up all my snoozers. Like, Twitch really wants me to run an advert within the first five minutes of me going live, but it's like, no. Please, no. <laughs> Don't do that. That's stupid. Yes, sorry, I should have verified it. Yes. Huh? The bats? Understood. Goodbye. Oh, late. How long did you expect me to wait? That was a boss just now, but anyway, I assume you're familiar with the case. I'm the head producer and today is the release of a game app we created. When you progress through the game and get to the boss, an error always pops up on screen and freezes. Ah, I'm gonna be fired for this. I'm finished. So, I suppose you're the cyber sleuth. Please, I need your help to fix this app ASAP. 
Ah, this is terrible. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, let's jump into a cell phone. That sounds like a normal thing to do. Enter the guy's cell phone. Fun fact, that isn't the uh, last time we'll be doing that either. <laughs> it happens actually kind of frequently. Ooh, Tintamon. I always find it weird seeing Tentamon with vaccine typing. They always like seem to be a data type in my head, but I'm not sure why. Lightning Paw. Alright, that takes care of you guys. <laughs> Imagine someone watching this like later on on YouTube. It's like, well, what's she referencing there? It's just like they haven't seen my Dark Cloud series. Double checking. We get to level 30 on beat 2. And Octomon is already leveled like higher than the rest of them, so they need to get to level 50. We also need to get some Crests of Destiny. We're like out of those. Uh, they could be. Well, but yeah, basically, uh, some of the evolutions are locked behind getting an item. I can just buy the item. Uh, they're very expensive, though. Like, you can get one here, but we can only afford one. However, you're supposed to organically get them from, like, monster drops or, like, story progressions and stuff. I think we got one from uh, fighting Jimmy Ken. I'm gonna double check. Did we? I swore we did. Jimmy Ken normally drops one, but uh, maybe it's a random chance and I just got lucky the other two times I went through. <laughs> okay, so the thing causing the bug is you. Room. This room also, if I remember correctly, I don't know if it's on this specific iteration of this room, but the monsters that usually spawn here are Lockmon and Terriamon. I used to farm this place for ages to get myself a Lockmon in my party. Yeah, yeah! I failed again. This boss is way too strong. I never beat him. Eh? Yeah, what? Well, did I mess the game up because I was here? But employee hasn't been able to fix the game. He's in trouble, right? But I can't stop playing it. I'm totally hooked. If that's what you really want, bring it on. Also, Poyomon is actually legitimately terrifying in this, because, like, their tankiness is really high. Like, unironically, they're actually really strong. <laughs> like, case in point, you saw that right. That was a baby 2 stage, I think, or baby 1 stage that came on, and we just one-shot it. The one next to them is only a baby stage uh, 2. Yeah, so it's baby stage 1 and a baby stage 2. The baby stage 2 just like two evolutions behind us, or three in the case of Octomon, just tanked back like a boss. Like, and like it was nothing. They were just like, no, yeah, that, that's fine. That's like an amount of damage. 150 damage. Look at that health bar. It's so tanky. I don't know why. I'm completely here for it. It's an interesting difficulty thing. But holy shit. They're legitimately tankier than the Eaters, and the Eaters are like the uh, uh, proper bosses of this game. <laughs> Let's go for uh, Ice Archery. I think I'll also try to do Idle Bubble and put them to sleep. Uh, let's try and get a panic off. Okay. <laughs> Do a flea trade as well. Oh, 
Boy Emon, the example where the coughing baby does in fact survive the hydrogen bomb. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing is tanking. Like, this should knock them out, but like, it should not have taken that many hits to beat up a baby. <laughs> oh, I lost the battle too. What? But what can you do, right? Okay, it's a promise. I'll beat the boss as soon as they fix that bug. Okay, could you go talk to that employee for me? Tell him I said thanks for the amazing game. See ya! Imagine getting the shit kicked out of you by an octopus and their two cats. <laughs> and then you're just like, ah oh, shit, I lost. <laughs> you're late. How long did you expect me to wait? You hear me? If you worked here, you'd be fired. I'm in deep trouble and you just disappeared somewhere. You're so cold. Huh? The game has been running and it's still working. I beat the boss and I'm progressing further. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how you managed to fix it, but thank you anyway. I will send your fee to the office. Ooh, now I won't be fired. Imagine getting fired because a bug slipped through uh, the testing phase, as if that's the developer's fault. Wait, what are you doing there? Hello? I can't talk to them. I recognise that character. It, they're probably just using the same model as another character in the game, but like, they should not be there. Professor would be out of business if that's the case. They might actually hire some developers! Nah, that, that's mean. That, like, they make good games. They make horrible buggy messes of games, but they do make good games. They just happen to be severely buggy and kind of crap to play sometimes, but they eventually get good when they patch them. Yeah, I've been really enjoying Starfield, but like, I bought it when it came out, played it for two weeks, and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna wait for the Creation Club, because my mods are like, just barely functional. Like, there was a bunch of like, quality of life changes that were just added immediately to the game, so I just nabbed as many as I could. <laughs> and then like, updates kept doing things like breaking my uh, outpost, which wasn't actually touched by a mod at all, so I don't know why that happened. Like, literally, I had an issue where I built my outpost, and... I finished putting everything together, I moved my ship to the outpost on the landing pad I made. And it deleted the entire flora of the planet. The whole thing entirely gone. You just fell onto this like uh, debug plane that was underneath it, which is like the bottom of the world. And that was the only thing that existed. There were some rocks and stuff in here. I could see my buildings up there. But everything else was just gone. The way I ended up having to fix it was fast travel to my ship. Send my ship to another planet and then go back to the uh, planet with my outpost and that fixed it for some reason. I'm not going to question it. it. It worked, I guess. <laughs> Why was I here? Oh yeah, farm. We have friendships. Friendship is a really useful item, actually it just lets you just add friendship to your Digimon. Especially with this mod where a bunch of evolutions are locked behind friendship. I don't have a farm go, can't expand the farm, but I can command them to use a thousand of my yen to develop the yen item. Right, okay, so we've done both of these. So at this point, I think we've been to the scramble crossing. Yeah, we need to go over to there because uh, there's a thing happening. To be fair, they're being forced to try and make bigger and bigger games and a barely adjusted decade old engine, and now they're finally using 
version of essentially the same engine with notable improvements to make the scale of things easier on it. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure what engine support what they're going for. It would need to be an in-house one. And honestly, my working theory is that Bethesda doesn't actually have anyone in-house who knows how to make game engines anymore. So they're just using the same one and just modding it. Like, I would not be surprised if the, uh, uh, the, the engine still shares like a shit ton of data with, uh, like, Duke engine because <laughs> it's a first person shooter game so like fundamentally most first person shooter games share a lot of DNA with Doom it just will do because it has some of the best algorithms for a bunch of stuff you need like a flat base so if you just copy that because like someone else has already done it better than you uh, and like FPS games are just way easier actually just the more stuff already done for you but like I just I think really think about a lot of Starfield's code and like Fallout's code and all that are just copy pasted from like earlier FPS games and then they just slap a bunch of stuff for like world gen on top of it and like uh prop placement that kind of stuff. Something over that dungeon yet. Yeah. No we're in the wrong place we're in uh Shinjuku. I want to go to Shinjuku right? I think again at the right way around? Yeah, we want to go to Shibuya. Hey, lady. Kind of stood in the middle of a the road there. That's kind of dangerous. That there's literally cars waiting, and you're in the way. I does not attention. Never noticed one person. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there. I will say since Bethesda owns it now that Doom Gaia gear should have been legendary stuff in Starfield. Absolutely. 100%. I would not be surprised if it gets modded in, but it should have been in base. If it gets added in by DLC, I would not be surprised either. <laughs> Thank you for head, Pat. Or if you make it, you'll only meet the spare. <laughs> I should go see if there's a new case to investigate and ignore the weird ghost lady I just bumped into or got me run over. That's fine. Everything's okay. Hey Kyoko, you wouldn't happen to have a new case for me but doesn't evolve like a ghost, right? Damn it. <laughs> Okay, let's go investigate the ghost. <laughs> You're the president of the Inoden Occult Research Club, correct? Yes, my name is Mei Kokoshu. Alright, so what have you got for us today? Well, I was wondering if you could help me on an experiment to test an urban legend and see whether it was true or not. As the cat on the English dub of ghost stories once said, she is a ghost and a bitch. <laughs> oh, that anime is experience. <laughs> oh, oh, I like the sound of that. It's not something we get around here every day. Anyway, what legend do you have in mind? Well, it's called Shibuya Hirasaka, and it goes like this. At the Shibuya Scramble intersection, five hills, each of them going in a separate direction. Split five different people up, one on each road as alongside those Then you have them all head towards the scramble intersection as they sing the Hirasaka song. If everyone makes it to the center of the scramble intersection at the same time, right as they finish singing. What? Do their wishes come true or something? Oh, a dead person is brought back to life. Huh. I can't say I've heard of that one before. Reminds me of some of all the old Shin stories. I can see what makes the legend so appealing, though. Take it to the center through that constant crowd, always singing. Putting it off sounds like no beat. Indeed, we've tried to the club several times, but we're always either bump into people or get held up by a traffic light. But we've heard rumors of your organization, so I thought I'd see if 
help us somehow. Rumors? Like what? Oh, like there's a, a detective agency in Nanako. The Nakano dealing with the occult that has a natural ties to another world. And if you go to it at 2.22 a.m. there's a door to the other world that shows up. Stuff like that. Jeez, I know we work in the shadows here and all. We're so infamous as having people make up urban legends about us. Wow. Don't take it the wrong way, but still if we could prove that the urban legend is true... It'll be a real boon for my club. What do you think? I know your main work here is hunting down ghosts and spirits, but will you do it for us? Wait, what? Hunting down ghosts and... Up with this stuff. Now you've got me really curious. Well, my assistant doesn't know a thing about it. Yeah, I don't know where I heard it either. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Don't worry about it. We'll take up your case. We need a little uh, time to get ready, so could you wait for us somewhere elsewhere in the building? Oh, thank you so much. I'll have the other members coming too, but I'll just wait outside for them. Like we've got another weird case on our hands. But the case is a case. What are you going to do? I'm going to start preparing for a Shibuya Hirasaka experiment. Why don't you go talk with the other club members and learn more about the legend? Have you ever heard the lyrics of a Hirasaka song? It goes like this. Hear of it as a curse, to see it is even worse. The death of a Shibuya is where we must all cross. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. At the bottom lies a secret, hidden world, but woe to thee finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you'll only meet despair. You only meet despair. Seeing that while heading towards the center, she a scramble in the section of the legend of Shibuya Hirasaka to work. Hey dude, Shibuya's filled with the rim with, hi with hills no matter where you look. There's Konosaka, Masaka, Organzaka. Really, you could say that Shibuya is like the valley for all of Tokyo. And I don't just mean it geographically either. There's so much information and energy that flows into it from all sides. I think that's why Shibuya is so popular to begin with. Isn't Shibuya Station the one they, they are used as a portal to Digimon Frontiers? Yes, yes it is. Because a bunch of Digimon just takes place in Tokyo. <laughs> also, Shibuya intersection. Like, Shibuya, Shibuya has like a bunch of urban legends, like getting spirited away, crossing over into another world, uh, going over like thresholds of things like that. There's so much of that. Like, it was just ripe to have Digimon plot written for it. Why am I wearing this maid outfit? Because I have to get back to work once we're done here. I came here because Mai really needed enough people to help out, but I can't say I'm otherwise super sure about the whole thing. Hey, this train looks like a giant worm. This station looks like a darkoid. This is entirely normal. I'll get on it. <laughs> I mean, there was an actual girl who died doing this, you know. Apparently, she was doing everything you do for the Shibuya Hirosaka and got hit by a truck right when she started crossing the street. And then she woke up in a fantasy realm that had magic. <laughs> I just want to hurry up and get this over with so I can leave already. Damn, Misa Kai's are so cool. I wish trucks were real. <laughs> okay, so none of the club members are upstairs, so the rest of them should be on this floor. Oh hey look, it's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> With like actual Nendoroid uh, advertisements. That's a real product you can buy. There's a Agumon Hatsune uh, Nendoroid. There are five specific hills you have. Hirasaka, Gogenzaka, Mori Dori, Hion Dori, Hiyasaka, Yamazu Zaka, and Maishi Dori. If you look at them on the map, they even fall on a pentagram. Wait, what do you mean you don't see that? Hey! A scramble intersection, a truck and an accident. But woe to be who finds an entrance there. Or if you make it.
Where do I buy a Agamon onesie? There probably is one out there. <laughs> Alright, I've got everything all set up. Get all of the club members together and take them over to Shibuya. I'll be giving commands from over here. Meanwhile, I want you to join in and help perform uh, Shibuya Hirosaka as one of the five people. Can everyone hear me? We're going to commence verifying the legend of Shibuya, Shibuya Hirosaka. I've hacked into the cameras at the scramble intersection. I'll be watching you all from here and give you commands as necessary. Your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. Now let's get started. Here if it is a curse, to see it is even worse. The of Shibuya is where we lost the whole class. You're doing great. Keep up the pace. Lily, you need to speed up a little bit more. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. Good, good. You're all about to reach a scramble crossing. The traffic light should cooperate too. That being said, just in case, I went in and rigged in a favour too. So just go ahead and cross. At the bottom lies a secret. Even world. But woe to be who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you'll only meet despair. You'll only meet despair. Well, how did it go? We did it. We all made it here at the same time. Yeah, I guess we did, huh? Yep, without a doubt. What the? There's nobody here. Where did everyone go? Right, there aren't any cars around either. Looks like we've lost contact too. Wait, what's that? Oh, there she is. Also, yeah, shout out to Cube Pocket Dimensions. They do some really good, uh, I can't remember what they call it. I think it's like shadow boxes or something, but like little dioramas in plastic cubes. They're really cool. Why doesn't anyone pay attention to them? Or maybe they actually... Can't live here anymore. Can't live and be here anymore. So I'll Oh, who are you? How long have you been here? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya. Of a world. She vanished. Ha! Ah. What's going on? What's going on here? Where did she come from? <laughs> what am I seeing? Hey! What's going on? Come in. Ami! Out. That was that was a close one. If we didn't hear your voice just now, that truck would have. Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. What was all that? And now everything's gone back to normal. What's happening here? Isakai out of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you for head pads of the Hendo Hernani and Triumph Forks. Hoi hoi! Here, Detective Matayoshi, a lot for helping us out again. Not only did he restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for questioning. Apparently, that driver didn't see any of you until right before you were all hit. But here's where it gets strange. The crowd in the intersections saw you all the whole time, but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, yeah, that's how it was. We didn't know there were still other people around until your assistant spoke up. And no! <laughs> I 
What if this girl happened to be the high school student we saw here? It is, it's her. Yeah, it's definitely, she's the one for sure. I see, well that settles it. Who is she? The high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at the Bramble Crossing intersection. Died in an accident, for real. Yep, she was even hit by a truck. That doesn't make any sense. We saw her with her own eyes right in front of us. She came back to life. Huh? Don't you remember? That's how the legend of Shiba Yu Harisaka goes. So you saw... Uh, so you I saw back there was the dead brought back to life then. I don't even... I did a little research. Shibuya today is a valley that was cut off from Shibuya River. It itself now runs under the scramble intersection. Rivers are a common border of myths and religions. World on the next. There's the Sanzu River in Japan, the River Styx in Greece. Truck and losing their time. I'd say you guys caught up in one such place today. There are a lot of names you could uh, call it, but in the end, the results the same. Anyway, this case is closed. We uh, set out to prove, it, prove Shibuya Hiyosaka is real, and we did. Really? You're just going to... that girl alone? That you what you wanted to ask, hmm? You may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters, and we're not exorcists. That's not what we do. We're cyber sleuths. No more and no less. I would appreciate it if you remember that from now on. Stay safe on your way home. Don't get into any, ex any exits for real now. Well, that case is uh, over and done with for now. Although I know you didn't get a chance to read the powers, but I figure if you had to use them in front of us kids, that would have just spawned enough of urban legend. <laughs> if I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, that'll make me happy. It's closed. You got a panic barrier. Great to see you pull through with that case. Keep up the good work and going forwards. That was a lot darker than the Digimon I remember. What do you mean? Have you seen Digimon recently? Or not even recently, have you seen Digimon? Period. I can't think of a Digimon anime that doesn't have severely dark moments in it. The video games, on the other hand, tend to be somewhat lighthearted, especially with things like Digimon World DS or like uh, the earlier world games, I think. Although some of them had like some sections that get a bit darker, but like the anime, oh boy. <laughs> like if you want some recommendations for like, a Digimon anime to watch, Ghost Game, Adventure 2020, which is a reboot of the original Digimon Adventure, which is like better story pacing and stuff. It's just it's an improvement, trust me. And, uh, what's the other one? Oh yeah, Adventure 02, which is getting like a re soon. And we, I think it's coming out in like uh, bits of movies and stuff, but like the first one dropped really recently. Like those are really good ones. I haven't really seen too much other anime, but uh, in the Digimon series, but like I'm slowly going back and like watching the ones I missed. <laughs> but like those ones so far have been really good. World 2003 was totally not dark, and then there was World 1 on PS1, which uh, which was a bit sad, but not this heavy. This is what I'm used to for Digimon. <laughs> uh, like, the Digimon anime straight up has like characters like can permanently die and stuff. <laughs> uh, there's a specific point in Ghost Game that I'm not going to talk about because it will be spoilers for you, but like, ow. <laughs> Like, the entirety of the second season of Digimon was about a girl getting abducted and gaslit in uh, her family thinking that they hate her. And then she gets like absorbed into like a bunch of like eldritch monsters this that are to be Digimon or something. It's just, 21 viewers second one are is like invading. super fucking dark. <laughs> also, hello Liz, hoi hoi, thank you for the raid, hello everybody. Or are you guys streaming? What was happening? <laughs> 
Yeah, my name is Luna. I'm normally a retro game variety streamer, but today we're playing some Digimon on a challenge run. We're gonna be uh, like restricting when we can evolve, and like every uh, Digimon has like flattened uh, stat lines and stuff, and uh, there's like more Digimon I pulled. There's a bunch of new stuff in it. I just I modded the Wazoo out of this game. <laughs> we're also only using three Digimon maximum. We can never swap these out. These are the ones we're stuck with. Also, we're having uh, evolution votes. Streaming Elden Ring, nice! Go get yourself some food! You know, accidentally traumatizing me with childhood memories! Ah, <laughs> uh, that poor fucking girl with her, like, uh, puppet bow. I need to watch Digimon uh, Adventure uh, 2. Like, Digimon Adventure 2 is so fucking good, and I'm sure the reboot is good as well. But like, I, I kind of want to wait for the reboot to like fully come out first before I start like uh, watching the uh, original, I guess? I don't look into Eden much, but I heard that the view entrance is impressive. Okay, let's go to the entrance. Also, is there any cases? I should probably also save. We haven't saved in a while. How are we doing level-wise? Not quite fair yet. When we hit level 30, we're going to have two more evolutions. Now I want to be traumatized as well. Care to give me a short breakdown, Luna? Uh, honestly, I can't off the top of my head remember a lot of Digimon 02. I've had like bits and pieces fed to me there, but I've tried to like not spoil myself on it because I've always just been like, I want to watch this at some point in the future. And it's been... Is it I still happen? I think they announced they were doing a reboot, so I've been putting it off for the reboot. However, if you want like a rundown of like a uh, ghost game, I'm not going to because Spoilers. However, Adventure 01, the reason for that in 2020, I think Adventure is old enough that I probably can, and it's not going to be too much problem, right? Oh, hold up, how many speak does Corazmon have? Six. It's a sleep near. Um, maybe. What's like a good section? Like. Oh, yeah, so this one, Adventure uh, 2020, has an entire section where. Uh, Angemon explores the fact that he uh, had a dark half which split off into Devimon, constantly treating him like a rival brother and acting evil but at the same time he has a point with a few things of just being like you're like pointlessly trying to go through this thing you're not strong enough you and you're not strong enough why are you hurting yourself and continuing with me in the world alone and he's constantly just like no I, I need to do my task I need to like help my friends but you also convincing I just like that whole like back and forth thing of just like Angela fighting with his own internal darkness manifest as this other entity and then there's just when they actually start like reconciling things or fixing stuff Devimon gets corrupted by his own power like uh, uh like hoarding and how much like he's just like, uh, coveting getting stronger to his goals and just goes insane and turns into damn Devimon and just fucking murders everyone like, just getting like super strong. It absolutely wrecks Tai Chi. Tai Chi almost dies. Agumon gets super fucking pissed and dark, dark digivolves into almost into a Skull Greymon. I managed to get convinced out of it uh, shortly after before going absolutely ape shit. But not before destroying Dan Derrymon. <laughs> it's also a scene that happens in the original uh, anime, but like, it was so well done in the reboot. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I don't remember like other dark moments off the top of my head, but I mostly just remember like the happier parts of Digimon 2020, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like the entire episode, which is just based around, uh, they find a fast food restaurant in the middle of nowhere. And they're just like, oh cool, we'll go here, we'll like order some fries, and the fries are so fucking good. And there's, uh, of course there's a fucking ad break. <laughs> We'll get back to that for after. We're gonna go play some Digimon until the ad break. <laughs> Let's go to the entrance of Eden. Or I could go do some farming. For some Belgian fries. Hey, lady. But mum, I swear, there's something there, I just felt it. Sweetie, look behind you and check for yourself, see? There's nothing there. Now don't worry about it. 
lady. You see this? The thing I'm standing on. This thing right here. Not was post on my digi line. Stop looking at me. Reply. Yo, we got another case from the Occult Club. This one looks personal though. I think one of those uh, guys might have uh, taken a liking to us, given that we deal with a strange and unusual in our line of work. And in doing so, they're inviting yet more strange and unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves, really. Okay, ad break ends now. Welcome back from Ad Hell. <laughs> So yeah, the fault line I was going along was uh, they find a, a fast food uh, restaurant just in the middle of nowhere and they pay a bully to lose a bit on a stream with memes, nice. So they find this uh, fast food chain and it's like they order fries there, the fries are so fucking good and there's also a uh, digital neck called I think it's Potamon or pat Potamon or something like that, just like a walking potato, he fucking loves fries, like straight up just like, Seth thank you for the subscription! But the kid's like straight up like autistically obsessed with fries and it's not even just like they're like making fun of like autistic people i'm autistic myself i can see it when i, I don't know when i know it when i see it <laughs> the kid's just like autistically obsessed with fries to the point that when the restaurant's like we're running out of potatoes and because of the war we can't grow more and the soil's gone to crap and stuff we just can't produce more potatoes for our fries and he gets so fucking distraught. So he like uh, storms off getting upset and stuff after like uh, forming this like very strong bond with uh, Joe Kido over like uh, their absolute love for fries. And he ends up basically uh, rage evolving into a uh, a Jaegermon or Jaegermon, I can't remember how you pronounce it. It's basically just a giant potato dog <laughs> with like potatoes stuck to it. And uh, so he starts like just throwing potatoes everywhere, just like getting super pissed, they have a fight and stuff. Joe ends up getting uh, his uh, Zudamon's giant fucking hammer, grabbing it from them and bashing this Jaegermon over the head to like get his senses back together. And then it just has this moment of realisation of there's potatoes everywhere, I could produce potatoes. And yeah, the uh, the chefs and stuff at the restaurant are like, shit, we have unlimited potatoes, we can now just make fries forever. And everyone's happy again, and a big soul. They just make shit tons of fries from this Jaeger monster, like potatoes they're just growing from nowhere. <laughs> That's the entire episode. <laughs> it's like legitimately my favorite episode. I'm gonna do a hydrate one moment. Also, understandable, Liz is very bullyable. Going back to you saying you were bullying her with memes. Thank Marie to investigation start. Hey, nice to see you again, Monica. What brings you here by yourself? Liz Raid? Hello! Oh shit, hold up. <laughs> My iPhone just like complained, but it isn't plugged in. I plugged it into the charge, but I didn't turn it on at the wall. Ah, I'm back, okay. <laughs> Not fun bullying, but like to hurt her. Okay, th that maybe takes it a bit too far. <laughs> I might have to step in and bully you back. Wait. Wow. The zoom in function is. Oh, there we go. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? <laughs> oh, I'm gone. Oh no. <laughs> Where's the button? There it is. I'm back. You mean for my creator today, and I must admit, it was... I don't know if it's my best work yet, or the most cursed ones. My horns are too small. <laughs> Hold up, I, I, the only... Yep. It's only one way to respond to that, just yep. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Cybercrime? You go to the police? I can't really. There's some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand. You've made the right choice. Coming to us. Alright, give us the details. Oh? Lena, I can't give you a rock to eat anymore. Yeah, I do plan on fixing it soon. Uh, but like, I've had to learn how to use Binyan because I swapped over from being uh, BC Face and VTuber Plus to just using Binyan on its own. It's a lot lighter on my computer 
Well, says it means I can play games like this without lagging. <laughs> Look at this. It's a lock on my digi line. All right, let's see what you got. I go to my club tomorrow. They claim they do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that too. And I could really get a hot manly boyfriend too. Oh my gosh, did I just write that? Huh? What's so special about this? Keep going, you understand why. NG have a crush on mine? Lol, 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 lol. No way, she has a one track mind. She can't think of anything else but the occult stuff. That guy even have his eyes on straight. Such an ass. He has a real hottie right in front of him and he can't take his eyes off my for even a second to notice it. Uh, okay, understandable. Also, I don't know if it's on my end, but someone's just getting a bit cut off on your mic. I've had this, like, happening for ages and I don't know why. I think it might be based on, like, thing or, like, me facing the wrong or talking, but... No, that doesn't seem to be it. I, I have no idea. There's some kind of issue going on with, like, my microphone. It's been happening on Discord as well, and I don't know what it is, and I really hope my mic's not dying because I really like this microphone. It's really good. <laughs> Maybe I should just seduce him. I mean, I got the goods. I'd give him a peek any time. How do I put this? Your posts aren't putting any punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look perfectly normal to me. Uh, the thing is, I didn't write that stuff. What? They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly I deleted them. Ah, I hear you. That doesn't, uh, but uh, does that mean your account was probably just hacked? Some two-bit hacker probably did it to screw with you, or maybe your computer infected with. No, no, it's nothing like that. I take, uh, but I take it that's the part where the supernatural part you measure factors into your posts. Yeah, I wasn't the one who wrote these posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What you see written there, that's. Stuff I think about, but don't express out loud. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the other club members, basically. Right. Seeing as you're in the occult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, send you messages from the spirit world, something like that could very possibly be happening to you. Look at these post times on your log, those messages went out in the dead of night. It could have been long as sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? In the late 1800s, there was an academic by the name Enrio Inouye who posted, posited these sorts of things can come from having multiple cells. Enrio Inouye? The man who came up with mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at the book club before. Hold on, are you saying I have split personality? The politically correct term for that would be dissociative identity disorder, actually. I guess... I guess it makes sense if I'm writing these the night without realizing it, that would explain it, but, but maybe it really is that. I've honestly been worried that it might be deep down. But no, that's not it. Huh? This isn't because of some mental issue. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. This was posted uh, onto your account. It's a reply that I, that's what I wrote on your digi line. For the culprit, I'm a detective who's taken up Manaka's case. Now we know uh, that we know we. Now that we will track you down and uncover uh, your identity, no matter who you or where you are, you can't hide forever. I've been warned. Well, this conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking, while you weren't touching any terminals. That means you're not the one behind those posts, let alone any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit out is out here somewhere. Whoever's behind it is just some dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one at that. To quote Emrio Inoue's work, what we've got is a case of a fake wonder, or someone trying to make it, this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts so much as just how I think and feel, really. Were you locked into Eden before you fell asleep? Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha, but in the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been sitting around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. Do that sort of thing in Eden? 
Well, not literally. At least not when you're uh, lone wolfing it like your hacker here. Still, avatars in Eden are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak. And so memory data hacks theoretically doable. Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Huh? Don't sweat it for now. Just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Alright, but what do you exactly plan on doing? Oh, let's just say we're going fox hunting. And our decoy will be... Our little maiden's deep dark secret. <laughs> Like Monica's still not here yet. It's hoping it's a sign of what's to come. Oh, I had Monica lay down our decoy. If a culprit's a type of person I suspect they are, they'll definitely go for it. That means it's a pretty safe guess to say that they're going to log into each night. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. That shouldn't be a problem either. That's because Pete's going to be working for us. Pete's been missing for a while. Hello, we missed you. How's it going? Long time no see, thanks again for what you did back there with the AC stuff. I had Pete here take a look at these posts the hacker wrote so we can learn their scent. Yep, it turns out those messages had traits of Digimon on them. Don't fool me. I'll let you know when the bad guy's close by, you can count on me and my nose. But of course, that's why I brought you on board. This is so cool, working with a real life detective. I feel like a boy Wonder here. Hey, you don't know who the boy Wonder is? Really? Hey, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I did just, uh, like you said, I was supposed to message on my Diddy line, but am I really gonna be okay doing that? You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. It's a blatant ploy on our part, but again, this guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. He's gonna want to verify Manika's claim, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, though. Even take a look inside of it. It'll require actually directly reaching out and making contact with her avatar. That's the only way he could have done this. He had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. I'm gonna uh, so say flat out, but you should have Pete just sitting on your head during this bit while he's helping you. Yes, 100%. I fuck yes. <laughs> What's more, messing around with someone's mental data was uh, take going into the core of Eden itself. The security fair is supposed to be so as tight as can be, but take real effort to break in. The hacker behind Manaka's messages could would have been there for had to be touching her for at least the several minutes before leaving his handiwork. I smell him. He's close by. Good. It's time to go hunting. Go investigate the surrounding area and get this person out of his foxhole. Oh, I'm so tired. You guys are working late. So late tonight. Screw you, Nabbit. <laughs> I know your secret. <laughs> this is correct. You're amazing. And we finished developing our farm attachment. Yes, yeah, we're just up here again. Like, I could ask Pete to sniff all these spots, but like, it's obvious where he is. <laughs> Gee, the, the blue glowy space, really? <laughs> there, right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, we got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. For real? How'd you find me? He knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me before, aren't you? Crap, how'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. Oh, so that's what happened, huh? <laughs> but all the systems, those sensitive waves and special networks, the culprit didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. We're a cyber sleuth. It comes with a job. But enough of that. We've got questions for you. Does that make you a deck detective too? Whoa, you're so hot. Yeah, whatever. Just answer my questions already. Who are you and how did you achieve such a complicated... I'm what you call a genius architect. I got some lowly hacker or programmer. You know about the Baku Reborn service? There's a special service here in Eden. 
In cases like uh, where a user is either permanently eaten or they die, the backer of Dawn's service gathers all that user data and deletes it. And the one who runs it. You don't have to ask so surprised. Kids are more tuned to the digital world than adults. That's a throwback to the anime. <laughs> I just studied on my own and joined groups I could trade with, uh, info with. As soon enough, I started working in corporate R&D. Oh, but the reason I'm considered a genius isn't just because I ran that service. I'm also the one who designed it. Actually, what I said about Baku gathering and random user data isn't entirely accurate. It is more. It's the gather and accumulate data pertaining to a given account. It also organizes it, almost like it has a mind of its own. To be honest, I mean, even I'm surprised by that. I never expected to act so precisely and deliberately. If the real case of the creation is surpassing the creator, but that's how it should be with these sorts of things, no? I follow you. Baku Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that can shoot nightmares? Yep, you got it. I named it that because data we don't want to show over the line is very much its own sort of nightmare. And by using the Baku itself, you could... Alright, I want to what you did now. You hand your avatar's surface level appearance over to your Baku and let it consume it. That way, nobody would be able to know what you were, when you. Who would be able to know that you were lurking? You didn't let it purge the data outright. You controlled it yourself, making it hand it back like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Well, you figured it out. Yep, you got me. That's amazing, though. I love it when I actually meet a small adult. I'm guessing you basically used the same trick to draw up Manica's mental data then. Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with her short-term memory. The stuff you'd find in a person's hippocampus inside a real brain. Even then, as a, uh, something as advantage as a Baku can't break into a person's memory with any active mental data. Oh, hydrate! I will do a hydrate! That would be definitely crossing a line, and I would understand why that's bad. I'll hand over what I copied to your partner, given the apparent interest is sparked. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think I'd more or less have a grasp of the current situation now. I am, but I am not. I think it, that might be the best way to describe what your partner is uh, to this world, if you catch my drift. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Jeez or not, even I can't personally go out and archetype the uh, architect life itself. That thing was probably born as such by pure chance. I have no idea how it'll end up growing and moving forward. Certainly, at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. You really are smart. I don't just mean you know a lot either. There's a sharpness to your words that I admire. I trust you to let me deal with the Baku. Plan on disposing of it? We'll see. It depends on how things go. Okay, I trust your judgement. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password locker for it is listed. The rest is up to leaves up to you. Oh, this little kid, he's the culprit? I never guessed it'd be someone so young. What? I, uh, well, you see. Huh? Why did I do what I did with her account? Uh, who cares at this stage? I won't do it again. I promise to even apologize for it later. I'll even give her some consolation money. Just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered. We've met here in Eden before, haven't we? We talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend. Right? So why did you do all of this mean stuff? You're so smart, you shouldn't be out committing crimes. Um... Yeah? Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. What are you staring at? I did it alright, I apologised. Let's call it a good a good at that, shall we? You still have to work to do. I'm sending you the URL of a Baku Reborn service now. We're gonna resume our hunting now. Only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Monica, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My system will take care of everything from here. Alright, I'm counting on you. I don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there, so you better be prepared for anything before we go. And you know the, like, the best part about this part of the game? So we got the Baku spirit. It's traditionally depicted as like a Tapir-like creature. We have a Tapir-like Digimon based on a Baku called Tapirmon. It's not in the base game. 
it never shows up in the game. It's not the Digimon that's part of this. Why? I fucked if I know. They could have just used the Baku they already have, but they decide now we're not going to use Baku. <laughs> If I remember correctly, they don't even have Repamon. There's a section that references the uh, Kamaitachi, and they don't use the Kamaitachi uh, Digimon. Hello, Digital Hazard! Hoi hoi! And yeah, people keep on saying my horns are too small, so they keep getting bigger. Thank you! Oh, they got wrecked. I mean, they're babies, so I should expect that, but like, oh, they got wrecked. Oh, we got some topaz. Actually, really bad. I'm just really short on money. Okay, let's go for a wall crack. Ew. Topaz. Topaz. Topaz, Topaz, Gemstone, Shiny, Bunny, Delicious, Baby Food. Phew. Get poisoned, idiot. <laughs> this song is from Digiworld 2003. Yeah, there's a mod I've got which uh, randomizes the battle encounter music so it's not always the same song over and over. And it's just got shit tons of music from various Digimon games and the anime and whatnot. It's really good. And it didn't include any copyrighted music for the looks of it, so I'm really happy with that because I'm really worried about like just getting random copyright strikes from Sony. <laughs> Have you done your hair recently? You look amazing today. <laughs> Thank you. It's been identical since January. <laughs> what I mean to say is, this is effortless. <laughs> you should see me when I do put effort in. <laughs> So we got the farm goods. Uh, and we can't quite digivolve yet. So how am I doing on restoratives? They're doing perfectly fine. It's like plenty enough of this uh, encounter. A quick save. And let's go beat up a Baku spirit. Which is for some reason Clockmon. I know why they used Clockmon, but they could have used a Tapiamon. There it is, our one and only Baku. From the look of it, this kid has uh, programmed as merged with a wild Digimon. Whatever that says. It's no use trying to reason here. Programs have raised whatever traces were left of a Digimon's own sentience. The Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from man-made programs. It's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. There's no getting around this one. You're just going to have to knock some sense into it. Oh shit. It has uh, sleep attacks. This is fine. Um... Get poisoned, idiot. Maybe? Nope, no poison. But we might be able to inflict panic. No panic. I'm gonna guess because it's a boss it has like high resistance against status conditions and we're just not gonna be able to inflict them. So yeah, I'm not gonna try bothering. Uh, the highest damaging attack. Probably Nightmare 2 actually. I think it does slightly more than... Uh, yeah, it does a lot more than Lightning uh, 4. Lightning 4 would only do a flat 150. 
Nice. Getting really close to leveling uh, up enough to evolve. Okay, now that that's over, jam up a data and collect what's left of the Baku. Once we're done, uh, get out of there and come back to the office. Hard to believe that such a little kid would do a high, uh, such a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean harm by it, what he did certainly broke the law. What? Uh, that's all in the past. Now that we've exercised your account of the little stalker that haunted it, the case is now closed. We'll be holding on to the Baku program in the meantime. If you tune it up a bit, I could, it could very well come in handy. But I still don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? Uh, do neither of you really get why my boy picked on her? In a way, there's really no reason at all. Except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Monica. Huh? At first, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all of his heart. But then, as we saw, he was less immature than he'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At this age, it's pretty standard mentality towards someone you like, really. Oof, that was so fun. Let me help you out again if something else comes up, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool to be a detective cat did you want like that. You definitely helped us out back there, so you have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, are you still not able to actually be the price of Nakano Broadway's intranet? Yeah, I think that's to do with how all the network protocols are on, uh, for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data around. I could just be... It could be that I'm just stuck in the vacuum tube, uh, like how the vacuum was to that Digimon. Still much to learn about what Pete really is, it seems. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own little time capsule where he was frozen asleep all that time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to... You really need a reason for it. Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real being what they are. It's a simple pleasure in life, but we're entitled to a happiest human. Don't sweat it too much, just kick back and enjoy it. Case closed. We got a memory up. That's an important member of this team, so make sure you two get along, alright? Time to think of it. We're out of beans. Pick up some more, would you? I used some all that crafting a new recipe yesterday. Okay, I will enable your horrible, horrible coffee habit. Your crimes against beans will be allowed to continue. I guess. God, her coffee is awful. <laughs> Buy more beans already? I suppose that with more employees, the supplies used up that much faster. Come to think of it, when you head back, why don't you buy some ta takoyaki from the third floor to go with your coffee? Only a child does no more than what they ask. Go above and beyond and you're really clever. I got the coffee beans Kyoko asked for. What new horror will she create from these incredible beans that smell so good? Best girl. I know you could. Poster on the wall, Yuko was staring at. Nationwide B level gourmet battle. Our restaurant becomes a culinary background. Rated Yam Ramen. Tuna straps, gyoza, famous massive frozen custard dim sum. Looks like this is what Yuko was still looking at. Did I, did I hear her mouth water over this? She did. Her mouth was definitely watering. Nobody's mouth would water over this. I love when they give you those sections where they give you like options of things to say. But it's not even options, it's just multiple lines of the same message. 
Oh, thanks for doing the shopping. We were waiting to get back as you can see our client has arrived. Hello. Your mouth water. Your mouth water, didn't it? Your mouth watered, I know it did. Hello. Huh? Mouth watering? What are you talking about? This is our client. Oh, Kamishiro. Now then, Miss Kamishiro. The matter of a case brings you to us. Okay. I want you to investigate my father. Mr. Satoru Kamashiro, the former president of Kamashiro Enterprises? Yes. He passed away last year. It was reported to have been a suicide, correct? No, that isn't true. My father wouldn't kill, ever kill himself. Oh. I'm sorry for the outburst. Nothing to apologize for. But why don't you believe he would? Do I have some proof that he wasn't suicidal? I... No, I don't. That's exactly why I've come to you. I see, that makes sense. If you want clues, you may want to start with Makoto Yamashi. I had you investigate the other day. He was a researcher for Kamashiro until last year. He left the company around the same time my father died, and then he disappeared. I believe Yamashita is connected to your father's death in some way. Yes. There's no direct connection. I'm certain you must know something about my father's death. So you had us investigate Makoto Yamashita as a prelude to this case then. That was your way of testing us. She brought another case to us, but implies that we passed your test. I apologize, there are so few people around here who I can trust. I am so very sorry for my uh, little ruse. <laughs> I hope such an honest answer is proof that you know we have earned your trust. Well, shall we investigate your father's death? Thank you, thank you so much. Oh! Excuse me for a moment. Hello? Yes? No? No, there's no problem. Y yes? What? No, oh, I'm alone. Understand, I'll be right back. Wait to the head office. Miss Reed, goodbye. I'm sorry, something came up all of a sudden. So it appears we'll have- Yeah. So it appears. Please leave the investigation to us. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now. This could turn out to be a- Big case. Gotta go all out and solve it. If all goes well. We could expose Kamashiro's past along with the company's and workings. I should ask the tech Matayoshi for his help. Alright, let's get started on the case. I'll go over on the info on Makoto Yamashiro again. While I'm doing that, I want you to go back to out to his home and pay him another visit. I don't know if we'll get anything new, but well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. Ventured, nothing gained. Ventured, nothing gained. Hmm. No, sorry. Never mind. It's nothing important. Nothing ventured, nothing gained is something my father used to say a lot. It's an abbreviation for nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> my father said something different, though. Something ventured and something gained. I always thought it should be abbreviated as SPSG, but... It's rather elegant and refined expression, don't you think? Well, no need to think too deeply on it. That would be in inelegant. Okay, enough of a chit chat. Get on the case for me. Okay, so where are we off to? Hello, go ask. Uh, wait, no, I don't know where we're off to. I don't need to go ask Mirai. We're heading over to go talk to the guy at the apartment. Yosu Kondos? Toyosu? Toyosu. Toyosu Kondos. Oh, up there. Wow, I can speak. <laughs> You're a stubborn one, aren't you? How many times do I have to tell you I don't know anything about Kamashiro? You're asking if I've, ever, I've never heard of them. First I had heard from them was from you. 
No, it was before that. On the new thing? Wait, no, maybe I heard it from daughter? I don't know. Ask my daughter. Ask Chica. I lie down. I suddenly feel dizzy. She said she was going to Shibuya, I believe. A new single from a band was going to be available for a limited time at Shibuya Records. Jimmy Ken. No, that wasn't it. You really must excuse me. Go to Shibuya Records in Shibuya and talk to Yamashita's daughter, Chika. Sorry, I thought I saw something on the UI I never saw before. I was like, hold up, I don't remember that. But no, it was nothing. <laughs> over here, we have to go. Nope. It's over this way. Oh, hello there. Oh, you actually noticed me here. Good job. I am Victory Uchida. My dream is to become a CEO. I feel like you have what it takes to make it big, too. So I'll give you this to show my respect. Yes. Ninja, you are so good. If it's a thing I think it is. I think it increases your evasion. Nope. Oh, it's smoke bomb. Never mind. I thought it was something else. What are you selling? Nothing useful for me. In low there. So you have questions. Again. I just wanted to be left alone. Well, what is it now? What about my dad? There's not really much to say. Until recently, my dad was a workaholic. I'm home on his days off. But he seems to have changed more recently. Focus shifted to taking care of his family. I'm not sure why exactly. Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe something changed in his work. Before I knew- oh, I know you worked for a place called the Nile Corporation, but... Don't you be- I don't have much free time either, can I go now? How did it go? Get any useful clues? Nile Corporation. I kind of thought there'd be a connection there. Nile Corporation. A path I've crossed before. Detective Matayoshi looked into the company once before. My father was involved in the about investigation too. They were following up on a hunch, apparently. Okay, you can look into the Nile Corporation for me. I might be able to get some info at the Corporation Pavilion near the entrance. I'll look into the case files that my father and Detective Matayoshi put together back then. Alright, I'm counting on you. A Corporate Pavilion near the entrance. Okay. Oh, the medal. Kiwimon! You don't like Jimmy Ken's song? Just don't think about it, that's all. The daytime over there is uh, night here. I went all over collecting data. Also, yeah, fuck Jimmy Ken. <laughs> all my homies hate Jimmy Ken. <laughs> uh, he's such a cool character, but he's such a fucking bastard. <laughs> The biggest asshole. Not where I meant to go. Go over here. An entrance. Go talk to some people here. Hello there. Hurry it up, I'm busy, you know? <laughs> Thank you for head pats! Nile Corporation. It does sound kind of unfamiliar. Yeah, yes, I'm sure I've never heard of it. Eh, whatever, who cares about that? More importantly, what do you think of the Avatar system? Are you really satisfied with it? You don't even care, do you? That face, of course you don't. Damn. I'll take that as a compliment. Up. Nah, never heard of that company. Sounds like some loser third race sweatshop. 
It would be awfully nice if my kids could work at a big company like Kamashiro. Nile Corporation, that's the company created to read the Avatar system. I think they were brought out by some big company a long time ago, though. They aren't around anymore. Better head back to the office. Hi, hi. I'm Mr. Nabbit. I'm Meetings of a Mascot. That's my line. Poi <laughs> poi. I like to think they were both just having a conversation on the sofas and I just jumped out the TV. <laughs> well, hello there, young assistant. Are you getting used to working as a detective? What's with that look? You're looking at me like I'm not supposed to be here. Yo, Chang, can you tell, the, the, tell you why I'm here? Well, something strange happened and we can't find the Nile Corporation case files. So I thought I'd ask someone directly involved in the case itself. Of course you didn't find them. All the files are stored together at Kamashiro. At Kamashiro? I'm ashamed to have to admit this, but we had to leave the files there. That was this hunch of yours, wasn't it? Yes. At the time, suspicions were raised that Kamashiro had acquired the Nile Corporation in Lithuania. Your father and I were investigating that when we ran into a little problem. Problem? Pressure came down from up top. We were forced to abandon the case. At the time, we were also forced to hand over all the case files to Kamashiro too. The Kamashiro pulled the strings. That was a self-incriminating move, wasn't it? That was the implied understanding. Since we knew how bad it was, we decided to keep silent track of the, where the case files were stored. I kept track of them after your father passed away. Now, the files are being stored deep within Avalon server, which is the main Kamashiro server. I'm pretty sure it's a part of Cyberspace Camera Shoot, what is called the Confidential Database. And when I say I've kept trapped, it's not like I've confirmed the data's location firsthand. At best, it's conjectured based on the info from scans of the neurons. Call it my intuition. That's good enough for me. Well, Ben, I say it's about time we had them return what they've been for us. Listen, Kyo, to me, Ko chan. This is Kamashiro we're dealing with. How do you plan to get around the top-notch security of a world-renowned company? Let's learn from the case of the robbing rooster. We don't force our way through a closed gate, except we employ a strategy to have them open it for us. Well, hey. Now, is that even possible? A good detective makes the impossible possible. Well, we already have a rooster of our own lined up. Someone who can throw in just the way we need. After we'll get that uh, her to help us when it comes to infiltrating Kamashiro. Aha, <laughs> speak of the devil. I keep getting uh, Matayoshi and Kyoko's voices mixed up for some reason. <laughs> Begging your pardon. Once again, you've arrived right on time. This is my client, Yuko Kamashiro. Has there been any progress? But Kamashiro? You don't mean the former president? I see. No one would question her if she were to walk into corporate HQ. What? I... Who is this? Young lady, we need your assistance, please. Huh? What? What? Huh? What? I see. What do you say? Are we really... We really need your help with the investigation. That's... fine. I want to know if my suspicions are correct as well after all. Ha! <laughs> well, I am a minor, and as such, my authority within the company is rather restricted. I doubt I'd be able to do much more than uh, when we get to you into the lobby of the main office. Let me think about this. If we're inviting friends from school to take school, it shouldn't be an issue getting you into the lobby, I think. It'd be hard passing me and Kyo-chan off as your friends. Worst case, they might recognize us too. So long as you can get my assistant in, that'd be terrific. Do you manage that? Then how would you get the confidential database? Do you have some means of doing that? Even if your assistant were a world-class hacker, I doubt this even possible. CyberSip can make the impossible possible. Oh, there we have it. Yuko, 
leave the domain of cyber sleuthing to us. Very well. I'll go and get things set up. What? Are you actually going to do go chan? Get in? I have no idea actually. Oh ho ho! There was this one case where I got my hands on a little program. I'm thinking of having it customized for my assistant with the help of someone I know. Shall we get started with the preparations? My dear assistant, start heading to Mirai Kamikagura's place. Let her know that you're coming and why that we can get the details from her. Okay, so we're gonna get Mirai to go and hack for Baku. That seems legit. I haven't slept in the wings since I got here. Dreadful task for you, returning at once and things get dangerous. No way. <laughs> things get dangerous, I'm pushing harder. <laughs> Hello, Mirai. My preparations are, co are complete. Go ahead and take the program. I can skill Stealth Hide. Ooh. As someone working in IT, I love the artistic license of being used to explain hacking and shady programs. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no, it's a hacking skills program repurposed from the Baku program Kyoko gave me. So, like, basically, uh, hacking programs in this game are either flavored as it's a Digimon, and someone's just controlling Digimon with doing it because they're, like, already data and, like, cyber stuff already, so they could do it a lot more fluid as than a human would Or it's just a, a script kitty. Like, for example, with, like, the wool crack and the uh, data copying and all that stuff. We're just running a script someone gave us. Ami has no hacking skill. <laughs> Digimon have a hacking skill. Yoko has the hacking skill. Mirai is a world-class dimension-hopping hacker from like three different games at the same time. It's the same Mirai in every single game. She is a world-class hacker who knows what the fuck she's doing. She's the one giving us a script. Using this, you'll be able to almost perfectly match the master account information. It's okay if I press a song for you. I don't believe I've asked that before. I don't normally play songs on screen on stream. Uh I mean, it me and I might, like, see if I can. It depends on if it's, like, copyright or whatever. Effectively, you'll be invisible. Given your half cyber body, you should be able to use that skill not only in cyberspace, but in the real world as well. This skill could potentially be for a wide variety of crimes, but given you're deeply on the Digimon, I trust you on your purposes. That was rhetorical, dear. I see you all. You're a cyber sleuth, no? Someday you must expose my secrets. I got in touch with Kyoko. Things work well, it seems. I'm sure you have many questions, but start by focusing on the relevant case. I heard from Yuko Kamashiro earlier that you've been invited to Kamashiro Corporate HQ. Access for URL to access the account with privileges for the corporate office. The privileges are limited for lobby, but that should be enough to let you get in without too much more trouble. We've had our rooster crow. Now set the fox loose in the hen house. Got on some handy hacking skills, I know, but you'll need to think on your feet here. Be the wolf in sheep's clothing. They'll take all your cunning and skill and bravery to uh, what out this grand prize. Also, for the record, Detective Matayoshi is involved with obtaining a new hacking skills for this case. Keep that in mind. Now then, let's get this job done. Anyway, I better follow this corporate tour and the URL to Kamashiro headquarters. Probably going to be copyrighted. I probably can't play that on stream. Besides, we have Digimon music. This place is so weird. Like, this entire design is so weird. So late. I got exhausted just waiting for you. so late. I got ultra super worried. Oh, 
Not that I was worried about you, you see. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. Ami Twitch, I need you to pretend you're my friend here. Just follow my lead, alright? Is there uh, anything that matter with that? I thought we were already friends. You pretend to be my friend, right? A school friend. A normal friend friend. That's odd. The files I dug up on friendship mistaken? What? You want me to act like I normally do? I'm not sure I quite get what you're saying. But that if that's true, then you and I are already friends after a fashion look. Yeah. Okay, I see. That was a joke I, I fell flat, right? That was part of a plan, right, Amy Twitch? Things got a little too real for me there. I forgot to let myself play along. What I mean, uh, you've done your homework. I seem to have misjudged you. Anyway, welcome to Kamashiro. Okay, let's pretend to tour the lobby. I'll pretend to show you around. I need to quickly clean my glasses, I can't see. I had an itch on my eye and accidentally poked my glasses and like, I just, I can't see. <laughs> There we go. What? You're going to strike out on your own? But what's your actual plan for getting in? What? How does a person just vanish? Both Avatar and the account info. Oh my, Miss Yuko, where's your friend gone off to? What? But my friend has a... Um, we're playing hide and seek. What? Hide and seek? Yes, that's right. Is there a problem? No, oh, no problem per se. It's the perfect place for hide and seek. It's so spacious. I uh, suppose it sure is. There certainly is a lot of space here. <laughs> I don't know if you have two character concept recently, but I have no means of playing them since I'm already playing like two small campy. <laughs> I get to make a new character for a tabletop game soon. So like uh, the uh, fifth bed game I play on Sunday has just ended, and we're going to be making a new campaign soon, and I get to make a new character. And I'm really hyped. <laughs> By the way, I'm it. Oh, uh, well then, good luck, I guess. Thank you, I'm gonna find my friend. Just you watch. That's the spirit. Well then, give her your best shot. Say hello to your friend for me. It says hello. A program that seals an account. Requires digital digital one program hacking skills, which is completely illegal, I point out. Yoko did say that cyber sleuthing was your area of expertise. The vast reassuring. When you're finished, meet me here. We'll leave together. Please try not to take too long. There's a limit to the, to the time we can pretend to be playing hide and seek. I'll see you then. Yoko told me to think. But I don't see anywhere to connect jump to. Let me look around. G. Out of all the people here, the lady with the uh, hollow desk thing, this guy poking his glasses, this person standing here normally, or this guy who has a phone in his pocket. Yeah, I wonder which one we're going to hack into. Self uh, hide. The avatar. What servers can it access? Avatars are just data. Can I jump? Can I jump into it? Yeah, let's hop into this guy's fucking avatar. Let's infiltrate his mind and body to go into cyberspace deeper. That sounds ethical. Yabumon! I'm already playing Dot in a campaign that probably has like two sessions left, and I'm also playing a half orc barbarian, a different one. Uh, that one also uh, likely won't last long. E. At the Fifth games I play in, normally like the campaigns last like a year or two. <laughs> They're really long games. E. Absolutely decimated. But yeah, I'm thinking of playing a, a human, uh, they lost assassin rogue, uh, Faylock is the concept I've got going for me. So, uh, Basically, the concept is they're a house cat. 
and they were like prowling about at night at one point and an arc fae is just like i like this cat you're my friend now you're coming home with me we're getting soft tacos later and so the uh, cat gets stuck in uh fae wilds for like ages and it's like slowly being uh, transformed by the uh, land bear into a cat scythe and uh they end up like uh, at some point basically becoming awakened because they've like been transformed enough that they're basically mostly human at that point, like the midway point of becoming part of a cat side. And so they escape with that intelligence. And they're now basically wandering the material plane, just being like, what the fuck just happened? But I, I want to find my uh, home and my family. Is the Fae Wells my home now? What's happening? <laughs> and also having like the Arc Fae who uh, grabbed her, just like repeatedly with, like, whispering occasionally in her ears, like, come back to the hedge. Family's here. I miss you. It's like, oh god. <laughs> anyway, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Also, they're gonna use Sling. Absolutely not taking inspiration from Xiao from Dark Cloud. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> also, how have I missed this like little baby like twice? Like two attacks completely missed them. Heck yes, level up. Character reversal. That's a good skill. Okay, so we don't need magic bubbles. Uh, we're not a, a magic attacker. Uh, so... Yeah, this has a chance to inflict bug. So what bug does is it prevents them from using skills. It prevents them from using special abilities. It turns their abilities off. They're just a basic attacking thing. In the it's really strong. It's also a bitch to pull off because almost everything is immune to it and also uh, its chances to hit are usually really low. I'll see if I can get it off on this Gabby one without killing it. Uh, uh, character reversal. Yes. Like I said it's a pain to trigger. Uh, any. We'll come back to this dungeon at some point in the future because now we've been here, we've unlocked it in the uh, farm area. So we can come back and get any of these items we missed, but currently I just want to get to the ending. Let's see if I can get it off on one of you. You! Yes! Wait, no, bug. It's not. I was getting dot and bug mixed up. Bug. It's a completely separate status position. Ignore me. The one I described is called Dot. Bug makes it so that there's uh so you know the type effect of the system. So like virus beats, data beats, vaccine, and also like fire beats, grass beats, water, like earth beats, uh, that kind of stuff. It makes it backwards. There you got dotting and bugging. Completely different effects. Bug is actually really useful and like interesting as a concept. I kinda wish it was a thing that existed in Pokemon. Having like a uh, I don't know, like an arena effect that made all of the uh, type effectiveness just go backwards. <laughs> this bit just reminds me of Digimon flying through the internet in the movie. Yeah, basically. There's a lot of homage to the um, anime in this game. Oh yeah, it's a water type. Why do you use a water skill? I might be stupid. Um, but I'm not stupid enough to do it twice. Yeah, this game basically, uh, the lore reason why this looks like this, these are digital waves. So this is like the data being transferred to like other areas in the world. And this is how our character perceives them, because the digital waves don't actually have an appearance. But because we're a cyber body and we're just like physically integrating the waves, it's how our mind perceives what information is being given to it. It's just basically highways. Confidential database should be somewhere. Let's keep moving. Yelling bear of level. I could probably. Oh, we've only got one thing unlocked here. Wow. I thought we would have had more stuff here. Yeah, what I was going to say is uh, we could 
maybe like uh, use some of our dig uh, convert data to take some Digimon and just feed them to big ones because we've got low Digimon. What this basically does is I could, for example, take this Alphamon, uh, not Alphamon, we guys take Optimon and then like take this Alphamon and like I could just shove Digimon here and you can see it's like raising the level. Uh, but you do lose the Digimon when you do that, so I don't want to do that at that moment. So, looking at the time, I think this is probably a good place to uh, like finish up, as we're approaching a point in the game with like a lot of like uh, like story and like bosses and stuff like that. It's not going to take ten minutes to get through. It's going to be a bit longer than that. So we're going to finish up here and go find someone to go and raid. But thank you for joining me. We'll be back tomorrow with some bomber cyber thunk. And if you're new here and would like to join a community. I have a link tree which will take you to all of my Twitter, my YouTube, that kind of stuff. So who is currently live on the twitch.tv? Uh, wait, then by playing Cat Quest. I got this game for Christmas a while back. I really loved it actually. It's a pretty fun game. I might raid them by double check what everyone else is doing. Who's <laughs> playing SpongeBob SquarePants? Uh, battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Uh, yeah, I'll raid Denbai. I've raided Tuzi a lot recently, but I haven't raided Denbai in ages. Yeah, go say hi to Denbai for me. And uh, yeah, like I said, we'll be back tomorrow with some Bomber Cyber Fun. Good luck, have fun, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>